So now everybody actually knows what an edema is. Edema is what? Accumulation of fluid in any part of the body. All right. So it's like fluid is coming out of the cell. So now accumulating the interstitial space. So that means there's increased hydrostatic pressure, right? Now there is a type of pressure that is supposed to now what? Draw this fluid back into the cell. That's the type of pressure that we we'll call oncotic pressure. So this oncotic pressure is a pressure that is maintained by proteins in the body. So if you're having a hypoprotein level, what is hypo? Hypo simply means what? The protein levels are reduced. All right. So if you're having a hypoprotein level, that means what? There will be increased movement of this fluid into the interstitial space, thereby calling, causing what? An edema. All right. So hypoproteinemia edema simply means what type of edema that is caused by what? Reduced protein levels in the body. All right. So we'll be discussing this by talking about the definition, talk about the causes, the symptoms. If a patient has this, what are the things that they complain about? We talk about diagnosis, the treatment, the complications. If you leave this condition without what? Proper treatment or no treatment at all. For the definition, we are saying that well, this hypoproteinemia edema is a type of edema. And when you say edema, it's talking about swelling, right? Swelling. The hands are not looking normal. They are swollen up, right? So it's a type of swelling that occurs due to what? Low levels of proteins in the body. And there are so many proteins, but the chief guy or the big boys in the protein is the albumin. All right, there are so many proteins. Okay, I, I know globally there are so many proteins in the body. All right, but the one that actually maintains that oncotic pressure that would have reduced this swelling is albumin mainly. Okay, causes it could be that there's reduced levels of proteins in the body due to what malnutrition. You are not taking adequate protein all right you could be due to liver disease you could be due to kidney disease that's nephrotic syndrome where uh, instead of protein being reabsorbed back into the body you are excreting protein excreting protein okay you could be due to what some inflammatory conditions like bones and sepsis you could be due to cancer you could be due to gastrointestinal disorders right those are the possible causes then symptoms if a patient has and eat them in general. What are the things you complain about? They say, doctor, doctor, I don't know. My hands, my legs are just getting big. That's swelling, right? He said, that doctor, I measured my weight before it was 50 kg, but now my weight is like 65 kg. They gained 15 kg, right? They come to that doctor, I'm just feeling weak, right? They continue about weakness. Then probably when you go to see the patient in the ward, you see that they are not able to lie down on their bed. Probably they are lying like this. They are sitting on the chair and lying like this. Do you understand? So shortness of breath. They are having difficulties in breathing when they lie down. Then they will tell you that probably when they sleep, they wake up in the night, gasping for air and all this stuff, right? Then abdominal distension. When you try to what? Do a physical examination of the abdomen, right? Diagnosis. How can you be able to confirm? Yes, you are seeing a swelling. But, yes, the swelling is there. But now you are trying to now confirm what is causing the swelling, all right? So you can do some tests like what well, blood tests, like serum albumin levels, just to check out for the albumin levels. You could also do total protein levels just to check out for the total proteins. You could check out for liver function. You could check out for kidney function. You could do physical examination. You could take a proper medical history. When did this thing start? Then you still ask for all these symptoms to confirm that they are there. Once they are there, you know that what it is edema already, okay? But for you to know which type of edema, right? Because edema could be caused due to some cardio cardiomyopathies, like some heart diseases, could also cause edema. So you always try to know what's up, right? Treatment. Definitely, the body will not just start swelling like that. There is something wrong in the body that is causing the swelling. So treat that thing that is wrong. You automatically treat. The swelling, right? Then dietary modification. If it is malnutrition, it should start taking one high protein diet. Then the patient should have vitamin and mineral supplements. Then for medications, you can be giving them diuretics for fluid management. You can give what 
albumin infusions, that's in severe cases, right? Then supportive care is things like the patient should rest, they should elevate the affected limbs. They should not be keeping it flat. You elevate it up, okay? Then compression stockings too can also be worn, right? So you can see this crazy, crazy. Can you see this puffiness of the face? The sacral edema, right? Sacral edema. This one is ankle edema. This one at the back is sacral edema, right? The one at the stomach is what? Ascites, all right? Or hydroperitoneum, okay? Complications. If somebody has edema and you guys are not taking care of the person very well, it could lead to respiratory distress, and that could be the thing that will kill the person, right? It could lead to cardiac complications because the whole effect will go back on the heart. It could lead to what? Infections, it could lead to malnutrition, it could lead to what? Organ dysfunction, right? So some organs will not be functioning well and life will not be sweet again, right? So that's hypoproteinemia edema. Definition, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, types, and like that.